said before, a man is safe in the shadow of the flower of the Himalayas. The light of Asia shines in my inner being. Yeah? Well, your inner being better stand by. Because if you come up with a couple of more answers like that, you're not going to be safe under the shadow of a sequoia tree. I am the Maharaji Jeru. Now, Harry Sapper, that's the name of a rap sheet. Perhaps in a different life. Ah, uh, Harry, you're irritating Detective Starsky here. I wouldn't do that if I were you. A 19-year-old girl in the hospital. She's, She's in a coma. Hey, come on. You get to her, Harry. Oh, are you hard to put it out? And I'm going to let her by us until you admit it. Let go. You stay out of this. Stay out of this. Nothing, nothing. Stars, nothing. Stars, nothing. Firm. No, I don't think so. I think you're starting to get cold. I think you're pretty scary when you get mad. Huh? You almost broke my back in it. Hmm. Yeah, well, it must be all those Bella Lugosi movies I saw when I was a kid. Talk to Bella Lugosi. Wow, Lugosi, Lugosi. Just hope he cracks soon. I'm starved. You might not be so hungry if you ate the right food. Oh, well, maybe it's all that organic Japanese seaweed I had for lunch. Could have been a can of sardines you had for breakfast. Hey, isn't it about time you went back in there? Yeah. Hey, what about tonight? Why don't we come back to my place and uh, scramble up some eggs, huh? Hey, dinner, not breakfast. What about some Italian food? No, no, I want to go home. Battle the rain. Hey, I know a great Italian restaurant. It's down by the docks, you know? Fantastic. It's run by an old family. You want, Harry? It is against the teachings. You know your rights. You can't have a lawyer. But I, I am not guilty. You know something, Harry? I really hate to see this kind of thing happen. You know the last time that my partner got riled like that? They almost threw him off the force, and they would have, too. But at the last moment, the guy managed to pull through. Yes, but I, I am innocent. Oh, Harry, we've got your cold turkey. Well, let me explain something about my partner. You see, he's going to come back in here, and he'll be very calm. He'll apologize, he'll smile, and then he's going to ask me to go get a cup of coffee for him. Oh, he knows that the cafeteria is in this place is in the basement. It's going to take me five or six minutes to get down there and get back up here with the coffee. Well, that's a long time to be in the same room with a man who's as angry as he is. You understand what I'm talking about? I, I, I am sustained by the faith of, of the white snows of India. Mm. Well, I sure hope so. Well, Harry, seems I got a little excited. <laughs> Hope I didn't tangle your chains, huh? Ah! Let me tell you something, Harry. Hutch and I don't have anything to do tonight. And if it's important to you, we are willing to take all night. Right? Oh, you got a date tonight, don't you? Yeah. Whatever you want to do. See? Hey, how about a cup of coffee? Hmm? It's your turn. It's his turn. You really want a cup of coffee? Huh? Don't you want a cup of coffee, Harry? Hey, 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 wait a minute. I mean, you're not gonna leave me alone with this guy, are you? Well, it's up to you, Harry. Hey, 
What's the matter? You don't like coffee? All right. All right. But you gotta believe me. I mean, I was stoned out of my head. I didn't know what I was doing, all right? You guys gotta understand. I, I, I mean, she came right for me. I didn't know what I was doing. Yeah, okay. I'm a kidney man. You gotta believe me. I swear to you, I didn't know what I was doing, man. This chick just came to me. This is Detective Hutchinson in interrogation room seven. You send a stenographer up here. We'll have a statement from Mr. Harry's sample. <laughs> Thompson, the setbacks. Hand off the reader. Big hole across the Exit. 30. Do it, do it, do it, do it! Run out of bounds in the 30. All right! And there's the gun ending the first half with the score Bulls 24, Stag 17. Jim, I have to think different. Boy, this is some great game, huh? Outcome still in doubt? Mm. No, I told you. This game was taped last week. The Bulls, they were trying to... Oh. <laughs> you got me, huh? What's the matter, Mr. Smart Man, huh? Mr. Intellectual? Ain't you ever read one of those books of yours more than once? Touché, Joey. Touché. That damn phone will ring. We'll ring. You all, it's been three days already, man. Three days. I'm not even supposed to be in this state, man. I got warrants out on me. Just do what you're told, and you have nothing to worry about. I'm gonna tell you something else, you know. I mean, I think this whole idea of you uh, wanting to hit Monty in a restaurant's a little wacko. It's the only place Monty goes without his soldiers. Consequently, Joe, you know, it's the only place we can get a good shot at him. So, why don't you go back to your halftime festivities, Joey? You wouldn't want to miss your boom boom girls and your marching bands. Oh, yeah. You want know, it's a lot better than, than reading that garbage that you read. Answer it. Answer it! Yes. This is Teresa de Fusto. Yes, Teresa. Mr. Monty will be here at midnight. Are you absolutely sure of the time? Yes. I took the call myself. He'll be here at 12 o'clock sharp. Well, then, in that case, I want a reservation for two. Here we go, Joey. Anything else you want? You know what I want. Not tonight, Jimmy. <laughs> Listen, honey, you're gonna break this little old linebacker's heart with talk like that. Well, maybe you better call the next time you come all the way out here. Please, Jimmy, go home. <laughs> Teresa, you've been on me every minute since I came in. Hey, now, if it's something that I've done... Oh, no, it's nothing you've done. I just have problems, and they're, they're personal. You know them? Uh, no. Jimmy, please leave. I want to close early tonight. But the old man's still in the kitchen cooking. He's making a special order for a special customer. Jimmy, I'll quit early tomorrow night and we'll go to a movie. I want to be alone tonight. How about a little service here, miss? Right away. I'm Tom Lockley. You must be Theresa. This is my pal. I trust there's no change in the schedule. No, he'll be here at midnight. Good, then I think we have time for a nice dinner. 
You are gonna love this place. I mean, I want you to look at the atmosphere, huh? You ever seen anything so I think we can find a table. Right, here's a table right here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes? Excuse me. Shirley. Now, what, what's bothering you? Something, uh, something bothering you? Those two geeks that just walked in the door are cops. Are you sure? What do you mean, am I sure? I told you I got warrants out on me. It's almost closing time. We really don't have much left. Well, whatever you got, I bet it's good, even if it's not on our menu. I have to excuse my friend here. <laughs> what would you recommend? Veal piccata, linguine with clams. I'll have the veal. I'll have the linguine with the clams. All right, veal and linguine. Do you want some wine with it? Uh, vino de casa. Vino de casa. Okay. What's, uh, vino de casa? They make it themselves. What? Wine. House wine. Oh. Hey. Hey. I told you you'd like this place. You know what it reminds me of? Yeah. The restaurant your grandmother used to live over when you were a kid. How'd you know that? Starsky, every time we walk into an Italian restaurant, it reminds you of the restaurant your grandmother lived over when you were a kid. Yeah, I guess it does. <laughs> hmm. <sighs> I think it's over there. What? The John. Anybody ever tell you you're a regular shaft of sunlight? Where are you going? Play some music. Oh. That's all right. It's free. Huh? Oh. That's it. That's it. They've made us. Come on. Take it easy. Cover that one. Now put both hands on top of the machine. Both hands on top of the machine. That's right. Just keep both hands and don't make any moves. Now, let's take a walk. Let's go to the men's room. Turn around. Turn around. Good friend. Just wanted a drink. We didn't want any trouble. Just do what you're told, and maybe nobody else will have to be hurt. Hmm. Only Monty'd be shot. Only Monty. Couldn't be helped. I remember. You have to think of your mother. Stay where you are. I don't care what your business is here tonight. I'm going over to my partner. All right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Ah. Uh, I say we waste them. If you're going to blow me away, you better do it now. Joey, the man in the kitchen, he must have heard the shots. See if you run away. Joey, the kitchen. Hey, buddy. Huh? Hey, buddy. Huh? I'm right here. Huh? 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 It's OK, buddy. I'm Goofed, huh? 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 Did you, did you get the bag of guys? <coughs> More like they got us. Take it easy. Take it easy. Uh, how do I look? How do I look? Huh? Well, well, one of them bounced off that thick skull of yours. Huh? The other one found your shoulder. The shoulder? Yeah. Is that all? That's all. <laughs> Don't go away, huh? What? Well, I'm telling you, the witch just... I locked the old man in the cellar. 
He ain't gonna go nowhere. Hey, I gotta get him to a hospital. You just set yourself as only a shoulder wound. Look, I don't know who you are, and I don't know why you're here. Right now, I really don't care. What I do know is that my buddy here has got a bullet in the back. And unless I get some help for him now, you're gonna have a dead cop on your hands. Do you understand? Yeah, hey, uh... Hey, maybe he's right. Maybe we ought to get out of here while we can, huh? It's too late to back out now, Joey. <laughs> Is there any place we can put him? Uh, there's an office back there. It has a couch in it. Now, take your partner into the office. Joey, if there's a back entrance, take care of it. If there's a phone, pull it out. Go. Come on, buddy. Well done. I'll take you someplace where you can be comfortable. Oh, Come on. Sounds nice. Come on. Towels, tablecloths, water. Take it easy, buddy. Take it easy. Listen, I could put your friend out of his misery for him. Get the hell out of here. Don't forget, cop, when you come out, I want to see your hands in the clear, huh? Come on, easy. Don't move. Oh, Hans. Oh. I feel sick. Just a second. One more time. One more time. Oh, I was... Take it easy. Hey. What happened? Would you tell me what happened? You got shot, remember? Huh? No kidding. Huh? Huh? I saw... Oh, my head. You got a little crease. Yeah. That's... Oh, Who the hell is that girl? Get in here with that stuff! Hey! How's she... It's not like Dobie. I'm sorry. Here are the things you wanted. Over there. Take your hand. Keep pressure on that. What's your name? Teresa. Teresa, some mess you got us into. What are you talking about? Monty. It was only supposed to be Monty. I heard you. You're talking about Vic Monty, aren't you? Gangland boss. You set him up, huh? No. You set him up, didn't you? You don't know how it is. Well, then how is it? Vic Monty had my brother killed. Which brings us right back to my point. You set him up. Well, they can be very convincing when they want to be. Who can? Hmm? Your brother was family, huh? Take it easy. Take it easy. I'm right here. Do you think I wanted to get involved in this? My brother was a baby. He wasn't even 20 years old. Lady, you better understand what you've got yourself involved in. Take it easy, buddy. Take it easy. This is no personal vengeance killing. Vic Marty's an important gangland boss. And those two men out there are hired out-of-state killers. What you have done is to put us right in the middle of a shooting war. No! No, it's because of my brother. Now, they said Monty has to pay, and that's why. Easy. Easy now, I'll pick up your head. Easy. 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 Besides killing people for a living, I got a feeling those two guys out there might lie a little too. You understand? Hey, cop! Come out here! What time is Marty arriving? Teresa, listen to me. If not for your, my partner here, what about those people out there, innocent people? None of those people are gonna get hurt. Don't be stupid. You're safe. They won't touch you. You're a family. But do you think for one minute after they've killed Vic Monty, they're gonna let any one of the rest of us walk out of here alive? Now, what time is he gonna come? What time? Midnight! Hey, cop, I'm not gonna tell you again. Now, come on out here. Okay. Okay. Now, listen, you stay in here. You keep him covered and warm. 
And keep his face cool. If he needs me, you call me. you came to being laid out with your partner. All right, Joey. I take it from here. Go to the bar, get yourself a drink, and relax. Go, Joey. How is he? He's still alive. Too bad all this had to happen. Yeah. What do you want? Take a table up front. I want you visible from the front door. So if Vic Marty comes in here, sees I'm a cop, he'll think he's safer. You're so intelligent, you put it together. Oh, it doesn't take much intelligence. Go. What's a good-looking bimbo like you doing with a toad like this, huh? I work for him. We're going to Vegas in the morning. She's my straight lady. I'm, I'm a comic. Oh, yeah? Sammy Grosvenor. Who? Sammy Grosvenor. Maybe you heard of me. No, I ain't. We just played three weeks at the Galaxy Bowerama. <laughs> You're really hitting the big time, huh? Hey, come on, funny man. Tell me a joke. Make me laugh, huh? What? Well, that's what you get paid for. That's what you get paid to do, right? Tell jokes? Come on, make me laugh. Come on, tell me a joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Monty, you walk in and see everybody laughing, having a good time, won't think anything's wrong. Come on, make me laugh, huh? Well, give me a second to think. Oh. Uh, okay. Okay, there's, uh, there's a bunch of gangsters, you see. They're hanging a... This better be funny. What are you trying to do, dummy? Get us killed? Is that what you're trying to do? It's a funny joke. You know it's a funny joke. Do I have to sit with him? You came in with him. You're gonna have to go out with him. <laughs> hey, that's funny, huh? Huh? <laughs> huh? Some comic. Next week, you're going to be playing car washes. I think he needs you. It's going to be all right. I know it is. They'll do what they have to do, and then they'll leave. Sure. Hey, buddy, how are you feeling, huh? Hey. Yeah, man, right here. What's up? Let me check this out. Well, looks like we're sitting on a bit of powder cake. Uh -huh. Yeah, Vic Monty. Vic Monty? Yeah. There's two guys out there. Uh, I'm planning to surprise old Vic with his linguine. That's not too yeah. good. Yeah, I know when they're finished with him, we're next. You really know how to cheer a guy up, don't you? Well, I do my best. Here, take a bite of that. Hey, it's awful. Yeah, okay. What are we gonna do? What time you got? Hey, buddy. No, it's all right. It's all right. Listen, here. Uh, Take my watch, huh? Okay. All right. I've synchronized it with the wall clock out there. Yeah? Yeah. What are we gonna do with it? All right, it's a long shot, but it's the only chance we got right now. Uh, uh, Joey, the wild man out there, he's wound up tighter than a drum. He's ready to explode any minute. Uh, take it easy. 
think you can handle this? Heave it against that wall over there? Huh? Huh? <laughs> huh? Easy. Easy. Huh? Okay. Let's give it to me. Now do it and make a lot of racket. A lot of racket, a lot of racket. Hey, hey, where's that? Yeah, this, this reminds me of a film I saw. Yeah, what? Yeah, so, you know, the bad guy, you, you trip him and his gun slips out of his hand, you grab. <laughs> hey. Yeah. You got any plans after this is all over? It's up to you. After we get this all wrapped up? We'll be down and knock off a couple of banks and pull up for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, uh, when do you want me to throw the first pitch? Okay. Five minutes. Five minutes. Now, that's going to give me enough time to get back to that table and get into position without those guys knowing that anything's coming down. That's 14 minutes before 12. 14 to 12. Okay. That's... Hey, next time you want to scramble eggs, don't let me talk you out of it. for you anyway. What are you talking about all over? Is Las Vegas all over? A stinking lounge and a stinking downtown hotel. Second bananas to a second-rate rock group. It's still Las Vegas, and it's my shot. Stop dreaming, Sammy. They're gonna pull the curtain down. Only not on me. Not on me. What should I do? Call a cop? The seat taken? Well, it's our pleasure. She's quite a number, ain't she? You want her for later? She's all yours. <laughs> Can I do anything for you? Him? <laughs> Are you kidding? You ought to see this guy's place. Full of books. It looks like a library. Well, I'd rather see yours. Well, uh... I could throw the cop out of the office. No? Why not? Why not? Yeah, you're really something, ain't you? Huh? I could be anything you want me to be. You are. All that cheap tramp. Let me tell you something. If you were any kind of a broad, you'd stick with that guy, whether he was a toad or not. She thought I fell for that, huh? She really did. <laughs> I suggest you go back to your table, miss. No matter what the move, it's always the wrong one, huh? Yeah. Story of my life. You know, Sammy's been good to me. Really good. So do I do. Tell him to go drowned. Some hood, some two-bit hoods. He's right through me. I don't know what it is with men. I don't understand. If I don't kiss them off, they kiss me off. Why is that? Huh? Come on, you're a guy. Tell me, why is that? Maybe you have to give a little. Give a little. 
That's funnier than Sammy. It's not so funny when it's true, is it? I can't figure out. If Vic Monty is supposed to be as big a man as they say he is, it don't stand to reason him letting anybody get close to him, close enough to set him up. Well, about a month after my brother was killed, some of his friends came to the house. They knew I needed a job, so... And they got you this? They called me three days ago. And they told me that it was Vic Monty who had my brother killed. They talked about obligation and honor. I said I couldn't do it. And that was when they mentioned the accident that my mother would have if I didn't go along with them. Your mother. <laughs> in the next minute try to stay out of the way huh? stay out of it i've had about as much as a man can take jimmy don't hey! go back and sit out let go hey Lousy bum. I should have killed you when I had the chance. Next time, I'm not going to miss you. Yeah, but when I get a chance, I ain't going to miss you. You don't get no more chances, big boy. None of you people get any more chances. Joey, will you shut up? Take him to the cellar and lock him up with the old man. All right, let's go move. Move it! Now, miss, get back to your table. You two, sit over there. Please yeah, just stay on He's this. hurt. Listen, there's no more time to make choices. You understand? Either you're going to help me or you're not. What do, you, what do you want me to do? Is there a gun in this place? I don't know. The reason I get away from there. Get these people some food. While you're in the kitchen, check the wine cellar. Find out if the old man has a gun. Yeah. If he does, where he keeps it. Theresa! Yeah? I told everybody to sit down. What are you whispering about? Well, before your trigger-happy pal got so excited, I thought I heard something fall back in the office. I'd like to go check my partner out. All right. Go ahead. But first, that empty holster. Get rid of it. Now. Jerk is locked up. They say that rain washes everything clean. It's going to take a lot of it before we're through here. I'm not hungry. I thought they killed you. <laughs> Is that what you're doing on the floor? Huh? Huh? <laughs> I thought I'd tunnel out, go for help. How's your arm, huh? It's fine. Huh? Hey, did you get the bad guy? Huh? Well, I think we still got him with us. Oh, it's terrific. You sure your arm's all right? Huh? Oh, it couldn't be better. Hey, I told you, Gene Autry gets it there all the time. How do I look? Oh, you look terrific. I bet I do. Terrific. You want me to set you up? I think you can. I'll try your big lug. Mm -hmm. Come on. Uh, I'll try to help. Move your legs a little far if you can. Oh, okay. Okay, now. Just hold it right there. Yeah. Hold it right there. What do you want me to do now? Huh? I'll let you know, okay? 
Right now, I think we've got him on the run. Sort of a gun. What do you mean, sort of a gun? Well, the part where you put the bullets. The clip. Is in the back of the cash register, and the gun is under the bar near the cash register. But I don't know if it's going to do any good. He hasn't used it in years. He hasn't cleaned it in years. There's no way we can find that until we try it, huh? Look, we, if we work together, I think I can get the clip. But you're going to have to get the gun and bring it back here. You understand? Can you do it? Yeah, I think I can. Get back to your seat. Don't push me. I just want a beer. My mouth is dry. <laughs> I'll bet it is. <laughs> You want a beer, you pay for it. You tell them, Teresa. Hey, those cops are all alike. They're all trying to get something for nothing. <laughs> How much? 50 cents. Partner's getting the chills. I'd appreciate it if you get him something warm to drink. There's some soup already made out in the kitchen. I'll pay for it. Okay. Okay, but make it fast. I bet the piggy put in a buck in the till and took out a ten spot, huh? <laughs> we should have had children. What? If we had kids, at least someone would care. A lot of people will care. <laughs> the people we know, they won't remember a month from now. That doesn't say much for us, does it? It just about says it all. No matter what I had, I mean, uh, if I had uh, pneumonia or a broken arm or a boil, my mother always gave me chicken soup. That's Jewish penicillin. Maybe there's a Polish joke there someplace. Nobody uses Polish jokes anymore, Sammy. I guess you're right. I ought to think of some class material for Vegas. I didn't mean it that way. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm always saying and doing the wrong things, aren't I? Listen, in my life, I made more mistakes than I can count. Yeah, so have I. Sammy, what I did over there before that, uh, that was really something else, wasn't it? I'm sorry. Oh, uh, hey, you, you only did what you thought was right. Please, Sammy, don't make me feel more guilty about it. Can you say something funny? Make me laugh. How about, uh... I love you. Isn't that a screen?
Hey, hey, what do you got there? Teresa, I'm ashamed of you. Why, what's the matter? Oh, it smells so good. Why didn't you bring me some, huh? There's some more in the kitchen. If you want some, you gotta get it yourself. Three minutes to twelve. Yeah, well, this time I won't miss. I think you better get in here. Hold it, cop. I want you where I can see you. I'm going back there, and you're not going to stop me. What are you going to do now? Blow me away? There's not going to be time to pick up the pieces before Vic Marnie gets in here. Understand, this thing is liable to go off in my face as anything. Well, you always did want an excuse to get your teeth capped. <laughs> you know something? Mm. You look terrible. Hey, don't let me fool you. I played Camille in high school. Yeah. Look, now, there's one more thing I want you to do. When I walk out of this room, those guys watch me like a hawk. What can I do? Well, I can't walk out with a gun in my hand. And I can't get a clear shot at them because there are two people sitting at this table. So what I want you to do is to give me a couple of seconds to get into position. You want me to create a diversion? Yeah, I'll drop a glass, throw a tray, anything. Teresa, call an emergency operator. Get the police and ambulance and a coroner's wagon down here. It's all over, partner. No, hey. What's that? I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> 